Hi, this video is to give an overview of the Civil Defense CDV 700 GM survey meter. This is a sensitive low range survey instrument that employs a side window GM or Geiger Mueller detector. The instrument gives an overall operating range of from 0 to 50 MR per hour or 0 to 30,000 counts per minute. Uh, this instrument here is a Model 6B made by the Victorine Instrument Company and uh, these were widely made in the late 50s and 60s with this this model here was uh, made in 1962 so there are a lot of these that are still in use today. Uh, the instrument operates on four D-cell batteries and what I'll do is I'll um, open this instrument up and we can take a look and see inside the instrument there's a place for the four the batteries and you want to make sure this instrument's turned off uh, these operate in the neighborhood of about 900 volts so you can get quite a shock if you touch the wrong spot inside this instrument um, you've got two battery retaining clips here and what you do is you squeeze them on either end they're designed so you can squeeze them together and little spots here where they fit but you just pull the battery outer if they're not in you place them inside I don't know if you can see here but there's there's polarity markings down inside the uh, housing for the batteries here that show you which way the batteries need to need to go and it operates just on four standard D cell batteries you get your batteries put in and then just squeeze those clips put them back in and those retaining clips should uh, hold the batteries in place and we've just got some snaps here that allow you to close that instrument back up. It's important that you don't store the instrument for a long period of time, usually greater than 30 days, with the batteries in place. If you store it with the batteries in place, what can happen is you can have battery seal failure and that will uh, ruin the inside of your instrument. So make sure you take those batteries out if you're going to store the instrument. Let's take a look at some of the features of this instrument. The instrument employs a nickel plated brass rotary shield over the GM tube. This allows for either radiation exposure rate measurement or contamination surveys and allows you to distinguish between beta and gamma radiation. With the window open uh, it'll detect beta and gamma radiation and with the window closed you're detecting gamma radiation only. The idea when they uh, designed this instrument was that with the window closed you would detect gamma radiation only and you'd be taking exposure radiation exposure rate measurements and you would report your readings in MR per hour. And you can see uh, the scale on this instrument. Uh, you can report your readings in either MR per hour or counts per minute. So the idea was with the detector closed, the window closed, you'd report your readings in MR per hour. With it in the open position, you would report your readings in counts per minute. And the idea being with uh, with the probe open, you could monitor personnel uh, or equipment for contamination. Take a look at some of the other <clears throat> features on this instrument. Uh, the instrument has a four position rotating switch here, uh, off, times 100, times 10, and times 1, with times 1 being the most sensitive scale. How that works is on the times 1 scale, it gives you an overall operating range of from 0 to 0.5 MR per hour or from 0 to 300 counts per minute depending on what it is you're surveying for or how you've got your uh, rotating rotary shield in either the open or the closed position. If we switch to the times 10 scale we're going from 0 to 5 MR per hour or 0 to 3,000 counts per minute. You just multiply whatever you're seeing on your meter face times the position on your rotating switch. So on the times 100 scale, you've uh, got an operating range of from 0 to 50 MR per hour or 0 to 30,000 counts per minute. Now before we use this instrument, one of the things we want to do is we want to perform an operations check or a source check. Uh, these, these instruments usually have an operational check source on the side. These were either uh, 
radium-226 or depleted uranium. In the case of this uh, Model 6B, it's depleted uranium. Uh, depleted uranium has a half-life of four and a half billion years, so even though this is an old survey instrument, uh, our source strength hasn't decayed off much. Uh, what they say is that uh, to source check this or to operations check, you should put it in the times 10 position with the rotating shield in the open position, and then you want to place this source check where you've got the circle, place uh, the probe over that source check area and you should get a reading somewhere uh, at about 2 MR per hour usually between 1.5 and 2 MR per hour the instrument response time is about 8 seconds so give it time to respond but you can see this one's reading in that uh, 2 MR per hour range so this would be okay and we could proceed to use the instrument since it checked out okay this instrument does have an audio capability it has a place here where you can plug in the earphones that were issued with the instrument. Uh, the instrument earphones look something like this. Uh, the idea is you can just un remove this little cap here and you've got a little connector here that you can screw into place. And then you can hear the clicks through the speaker as the radiation is detected. I do want to point out one limitation on this instrument. Uh, it happens in, it can happen in radiation levels above 1 R per hour. Uh, that would be 1,000 MR per hour. Uh, what can happen is the instrument's GM tube can saturate or jam, and then the needle, it would peg out and then fall back down to zero or near zero, uh, leading the user of the instrument to believe that they're in a safe area when in fact they may not be. Uh, shouldn't be an issue because this is a low-range survey instrument and you shouldn't be operating in an area where you've got dose rates that high or exposure rates that high. But if somebody were to enter an area where you had rapidly increasing uh, exposure rates, that could happen. Uh, to avoid that problem, a lot of the modern survey instruments that are out there, if they exceed the capability of the instrument, they'll peg high and stay high. And the needle won't fall back down to zero. But overall, this is a, a good multi-purpose survey instrument. Uh, a lot of them still in, in use today. A lot of fire service, uh, law enforcement agencies still use these instruments and it's just a good multi-purpose survey instrument for contamination and radiation exposure rate monitoring.